grew up um, in church, in a Baptist church. I would say I wasn't strong in my faith. Went to church all the time. Um, worked in Sunday school because I love teaching and always did. And um, was just there, but I didn't get it. And so not having a strong faith, I had the strong foundation was there, but just not going that next step made me vulnerable to this world. And um, went to college um, at the university, loved it. Uh, met my husband now, <laughs> Jack, John, John Lawrence, who's an elder here. And um, we started dating, dated about a year, and we had a crisis pregnancy. Um, it was 74. We didn't know much. We did not know much. And so we opted for abortion. And um, we had the abortion and never really spoke about it. I shut it down as long as I could and never talked about it. And then through the years, I think I suffered in silence. There's so many of us that do. I was ashamed, I was guilty. How could I um, get rid of a precious life? And I, I continued that pattern and I tried to do things for Christ. You know, I'm going to do all these wonderful things and work hard for him. And so I'm going to feel better and, and be okay. No, um, I went through healing and um, actually with a priest that I had known from childhood and I trusted because I wouldn't have told that to anybody, but someone I had to trust and knew that that secret was with them. Um, and so I told him and we started walking and I started healing and I started becoming stronger. And through that, time goes on, um, then I go into, I become a, a part of the staff here. I'm in children's ministry. Um, Jim Hall comes to me and needs a care minister and he knew that that's what I had trained for at Fellowship. And so he put me as care minister and we, um, the first thing I thought about was letting, having the opportunity to let uh, women go through healing. And so started looking at that, started talking about it. And so Rachel Ministry was born for post-abortion healing and um, working with them. So working with the Loving Choices, working with these ladies, I started healing even more. I could not sit here and do this interview unless I was healed. went through Loving Joyce's counseling, that's very extensive, to be a counselor, to, um, to just work with women in crisis. I love working with those women. And the very first day that I got there, there was a couple that came from the University of Arkansas. Same story as mine and John's story, same story. So, um, he was sitting in the waiting room. She was back. They were doing an ultrasound. They were going to the abortion clinic as soon as they got the ultrasound done. Ultrasounds are expensive and they were paying for everything because they didn't want it on insurance. Um, they were very um, undone about the whole thing, didn't want anybody to know. He's sitting out in the room. I turned, I, kn I knew what was going on because one of the uh, directors had told me, this is your story. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I, I think, okay, I'll just pray. I'll just pray. And God says, no, no, you're gonna do more. <laughs> and so I turned to the one of the people there and I said, can I go talk to him? And they said, yes, went to talk to him. We started talking, I said, let's go for a walk. 
basically I was scared I was going to say something that I shouldn't say. Um, so at the at Loving Choices, so I didn't, didn't want to do that. So we went for a walk, and I told him my story. He told me he told me their story. I told him my story, and he said, "But Miss June, I think it's a pinhead." And I said, well, we're going back now, and there will be an ultrasound being done, and they're gonna call you back. And I'm gonna stand outside the door, and I'll be there if y'all wanna talk after that ultrasound. Okay, back, it happened, just like I said. They, he went in, the ultrasound was being done. The next thing I hear is, Miss June, get back here. It's not a pinhead. He had heard the heartbeat. And there it was, you know, right there. You hear it, you see it, yeah. And um, they came out and they decided against abortion. They had a child and they got married. They had a child, praise the Lord. And that child's about 12 now. Mm. First day at Loving Choices and I knew that I was to work with women who had had abortions and not healed because it was just all in my face that day about an abortion. I would say to those women who have had abortions, who are experiencing that pain, Jesus loves you. He will be there with you. He wants you to heal and then he wants to use you for his good. With God, there's going to always be falls, but God picks us up and he doesn't miss anything. He uses every bit of it. I would encourage this church and all, all of us, all churches, to put your time, energy, and money into pregnancy um, crisis centers, whether that's Loving Choices, which I love, um, or another another crisis pregnancy center. Get involved, help, um, give money, support. Life is so precious to God, and He wants us to realize that that is a gift, not a burden. Loving Choices, all these places, these women in crisis, the women who have suffered and um, have aborted and suffered. Everyone needs those prayers. Every one of those need prayers. And so please pray, pray.